welcome back today i am going to start a all new series of service portal okay and believe me guys i am designing this series in such a way that if you watch this complete series you do have mastery in the service portal we will be starting from the scratch like if someone is not even knowing how to open service portal by the end of this series he should be knowing like uh, uh, i can design a service portal okay so to start with uh, like uh, few topic i have already listed here like in the beginning of this series what, what all topic we are going to cover okay but uh, later on i'll keep on adding new topics so this is the beginning like the beginner level knowledge you require to design a service portal like what is service portal how we can communicate in widget what are the ng directives we will be creating widgets what are the out of the box widgets we can use then we will start creating a brand new portal including everything okay so to start with just to know like what is a service portal so here is the definition okay basically service portal is designed for the end users okay we if we do not need to expose this incident table let's suppose okay so let's say this is the back end ui of an incident table okay only admin or the service desk person can access it but if some user wanted to raise an incident he can access this incident table using the service portal as well okay we will be uh, we will be giving him or her some field okay by using that field he can create and that incident will automatically came into this incident table okay so just to understand the basic part it is more about users how users can access the service now without exposing the backend ui okay so you will see here service portal is framework in service now that allow to create user friendly and mobile responsive web interfaces okay what all coding knowledge we required here we use angular js again html css and widgets in the widgets what we are using the client side of scripting and the server side of scripting to interact with the service now database okay so let's go back on our personal developer instance if you type here the service portal you will see here the complete module and we have sub modules under this service portal this is to re, uh, go on the service portal home okay so within the service now we have multiple portals already created but this is the default one you will see here the suffix such sp okay so users can access this using this url let's suppose i am uh, opening it an age okay so so yeah any user this is the home page of the service portal for the users any users who do have login access can log in here and directly access to this service now home page okay what all things he can do here he can uh, this is the these are the pages we have added here okay he can request the catalog submit the catalog okay he do have request system status so many things okay and here he has the login and log out option as well okay so this is an portal and whenever we design a portal we uh, need to certain things in the mind like uh, whenever a portal is started we need to fix some container okay and within the container we need to create some widgets so widget is the most important things in a portal if we talk about this my approvals okay it is saying uh, you have no pending approval so this is one widget okay this is one widget which is created in the system and we have fixed this pay widget on one page and that page is uh, fixed on this portal so that's how a portal is designed 
if i talk about a portal so we have uh, if you have if you are creating a portal basic thing so what all you need in the portal you can create pages okay and in the pages you need to create the widgets okay we have few other things in between this like container theme okay but the basic things is this portal within the portal we have pages and within the pages we have the widgets let's take example of the other portals as well so these many portals are by default some i have already created to explain you guys okay so service portal is this one this is the home portal or you can say the service portal okay here they have given the suffix like if someone wanted to access this service portal he need to use the suffix like along with the instance url what suffix you wanted to provide you can decide here then the home page uh, these are the home page kb home page login home page okay so these are the again the some different different pages okay so while you are logging into this portal you will be moved to this landing page which is nothing but this page this is the landing page of the portal okay then home page is this indexing page okay if you are showing some error this uh, you will be reroute to this 404 pages so different different pages they have added here okay then they have this uh, theme main menu main menu is this uh sp header menu this main menu uh where i go this this is the main menu okay so what all uh in the main menu they have added some other pages as well like this user lookup knowledge catalog are these are the again some pages okay then this we have this active or inactive button okay some coding here okay and uh, uh see if you open this main menu you can see this is the one menu which is out of the box but you can create yours as well if you open this record within this main menu they have oh they have added some pages okay so you can add your page you can add your knowledge base different different type of component you need you can create and add here okay just like uh, you guys know service catalog you can add the service catalogs as well okay so yeah this is how you can uh, this is how a portal is designed okay but the most important part where the most of the coding is used in the uh, portal that is the widget okay so widget is the most important part okay and uh, i have designed a sample portal for you guys like this is the user portal i have created and i will be explaining like how you can create a new portal okay so and how you can code for those portal it is opening some problem let it open whether i reload this okay so this is the uh, service portal i have created for you to explain in next coming video we will uh, i'll be again deleting this and creating it from the scratch to explain you guys okay if you check this user portal okay this is the suffix is usp so how we can access it is if i go here erase all this and just put this suffix usp so you will be moved out to this service portal okay here we have uh, created this is the home page okay uh, this is the user lookup okay uh, so if i click on this it is giving me the user email id and phone so how we are uh, accessing it so this is uh, this is coming from a widget 
ओके अगेन वी हैव दिस एम्प्लॉय लीव मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इफ सम एम्प्लॉय वॉन्टेड टू अप्लाई अ लीव लेट सपोज अगेन आई एम टेकिंग वी हैव द गेट लीव बैलेंस ऑप्शन देन इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू अप्लाई अ लीव यू कैन सेलेक्ट अ डेट एंड अप्लाई लीव ओके लीव हैज बीन अप्लाइड सक्सेसफुली देर सम अदर फीचर्स एज वेल ओके देन वी हैव आई हैव एडेड एन अदर पेज एम्प्लॉय चेंज रिक्वेस्ट ओके टू गेट द इमरजेंसी चेंज डेटा हेयर वी आर गेटिंग ऑल द इमरजेंसी चेंज वी हैव एन अदर पेज कॉल फाइंड यूजर डिटेल्स कार्ड सो हाउ वी कैन ऑल हाउ ऑल दिस कन्फिग्रेशन इज डन ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट कमिंग वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल दिस फ्रॉम स्क्रैच ओके बट वन थिंग वी नीड टू कीप इन माइंड इज लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस एम्प्लॉय लीव मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो दिस इज वन पेज एंड विद इन दिस पेज वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट एन विजिट सो लेट्स लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दीज टू थिंग्स बिकॉज दीज टू थिंग्स आर द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट आर आर लर्निंग ओके हाउ आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन पेज एंड हाउ आई हैव एडेड अ विजिट हेयर ओके सो इफ इफ आई कैन गो हेयर आई कैन इन द पेजेस ओके एस पी एंड स्कोर पेज इज द टेबल नेम ओके यू कैन चेक हेयर इन दिस यू आर एल सो दिस इज द लीव मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम ओके so in this leave management system what i did here is i have added a widget okay uh, one container i have added and within this container i have added a widget so this is how the anatomy is uh, within the page we have container within the container we have some rows and columns okay and within the columns i have added a widget so this is the widget leave management okay so and in the page itself this is the page itself you can see here uh, this is the page and within this page we have this uh, container then row column then this instance on instance we are having this widget you can access it from directly here as well okay so so in the widget what we do we do the html coding okay then we do the css coding for beautification so this is all things i am going to explain and uh, this is the server side of scripting we have done here like uh, to map the data okay if i talk about uh, from where we are getting the leave details so we have this leave table okay if i show here so just like you got the able tutor is having Six leave then, but uh, when I have updated, so now uh, updated to five leave. Okay, so how this portal is interacting to our backend tables? So that is the most important part. Okay, then we have the client controller as well. In the uh, in this client controller, we write the client side of scripting. Okay, so if I try this out. okay see this is the widget uh, like using this widget we have created this entire thing and we directly replace and uh, we directly put this widget to our service now pages and thereafter pages are fixed to some portal okay so widget is the most important thing okay and uh, the communication in the widget is really really uh, important so anyone who wanted to start learning a portal he should be knowing how we communicate within the widget communication means how we can access the let's suppose this is the widget here so how this html data is being accessed to this client and server side how we are sending the response back from server to client so here the coding thing is little bit different okay if you see here we are using the ng directives here so what are those ng directives let's suppose ng model is one directive ng click is another ng directive we have ng if so what all those ng directives okay then we have this uh, in the server side we have this input variable you can't see anywhere this input variable but this is really important here input and then we have this data variable so we have some uh, out of the box things which is uh, those variable are used in widgets 
so we should be knowing like uh, how these variable are interacting within the widgets if we talk about the client server we have some code like scope dot server dot get uh these things are being used from send uh, uh, client data to server side data and back uh, how we can receive the data from server side to client side so these things are really important so this first video i am ending here in the next video i will be starting the widget communication okay we are we will be starting from scratch everything from scratch like if you if you do not have any knowledge of the widget service portal pages as of now you can start uh, this video series okay so please watch my next video which is the widget communication okay and uh, design a uh, service portal with me thank you so much guys for watching this video please watch my next video to get your hands on service portal thank you so much